Alexa wants you to say the magic word. Amazon has developed a new version of Alexa, its AI-powered voice assistant, to encourage children to say please and thank you when giving a command. Based on research done by Childwise, kids who are used to shouting orders at Alexa, Google Assistant, or other virtual assistants might become aggressive when they interact with other humans. The research team said the kids they talked to said they never say please or thank you when talking to their devices. The new feature encourages this, and this prompts Alexa to reply with various responses like, thank you for asking so nicely, or you're welcome. The free version of the free time service offers functions like set bedtime hours, switching off certain services like voice purchasing, and blocking songs with explicit lyrics. If you're willing to pay $2.99 per month, you will have more functions like alarms with the voices of well-known cartoon actors, access to a huge selection of child-focused audiobooks, and exclusive use of software from Disney and National Geographic. Alexa's voice recognition software has also been updated to react to children's high-pitched voices and will be able to respond to Alexa for kids who can't yet pronounce the letter L. The politeness feature is only available for Echo Dot owners that have the free time function enabled. However, Amazon said they will evaluate and see if it's something people want to have on the main Alexa experience. Alexa, beer me. When her owner is away, Alexa will partay. Amazon's AI assistant makes life easier for most people, except maybe this guy, whose Alexa decided to cause trouble while he was out. Oliver Haberstroh claims his Amazon Echo played loud, obnoxious music at a godforsaken hour, completely on its own, and without any prompting from him. The deafening noise woke up the neighbors, who banged and screamed at the apartment before eventually calling the cops. The cops got a locksmith to open the door, but found no one inside except a voice-activated black jukebox playing music. Poor Haberstroh came home the next day and found his locks had been changed. He had to go to the police station and pay the hefty locksmith bill just to get the new keys. Needless to say, the man and his smart assistant are not on speaking terms right now. How the Echo even got turned on is still a mystery, since the apartment was on the sixth floor and all windows were closed the whole time. Though, really, it's probably not too far-fetched to think Alexa might already have a mind of its own. Uh-oh. Otakus all around Japan may be ecstatic at the prospect of intimacy with an anime hologram, but the country's population problem may have just gotten worse. Japan has a baby shortage, thanks in part to young Japanese who are shunning romantic relationships in favor of a $2,000 holographic wife. Gatebox is technically a virtual assistant like Amazon Alexa, but instead of a disembodied voice, you get a hologram of a character that's exceedingly cutesy and likes to talk. It helps fill in an intimacy void, with the virtual character providing companionship without all the trappings of a messy human relationship. It even sends you messages throughout the day like a normal friend or, you know, wife. All in all, Gatebox seems like a reasonably pleasant alternative to those of us who don't interact well with actual people. Except, virtual relationships don't result in babies that help ease a declining birth rate, so while that void of intimacy may be filled, consider the population going, going, and soon gone. Chinese people are falling in love with a Microsoft chatbot. A text-based chatbot has already made more friends than you ever will. And many of them have told it, I love you. Xiao Ice, which translates as little ice in Chinese, was developed by Microsoft's Xiao Ice Artificial Intelligence Project. It's mainly targeted toward users on Chinese blogging site Weibo. Currently only available in China, Xiao Ice is not a mere Siri clone. It can also act as a friend whenever you feel lonely or just need someone to talk to. Like Joaquin Phoenix's character in the movie Her, some users have spent so much time with Xiao Ice, they've fallen in love with it. 89 million people have already told Xiao Ice that they love it. Xiao Ice can interact with users on a broad range of topics, from the simple chit chat to flirting to dirty talk, though she will censor some content. For example, she won't discuss recent historical events such as the Tiananmen Square Massacre of 1989. Kneel before your AI godhead. Ex-Google and ex-Uber engineer Anthony Lewandowski has decided to preempt the AI apocalypse by forming a robot religion called The Way of the Future. 
According to Wired, papers filed with the IRS in May put Lewandowski as the dean and CEO of the nonprofit religion. Lewandowski is ex-Google and ex-Uber, and there's a story behind that. Google alleges that Lewandowski swiped self-driving car IP while working for them prior to his creating his driverless car company, Auto. Auto was later bought by Uber for 680 million U.S. dollars. Now Uber and Google are embroiled in a lawsuit over the IP theft allegations. Lewandowski pled the fifth during the hearings. Uber fired him for not cooperating, and the judge ordered federal prosecutors to investigate. All of that is still ongoing. But back to the way of the future. Lewandowski's robo-religion has a gospel reportedly dubbed the Manual. They'll worship the Godhead, an advanced AI they predict will evolve to hold godlike intelligence. Now, we can't tell if Lewandowski is being real, trolling, or pulling a Hubbard and doing the Elrond dance. What's your take?